One of the biggest updates to come with iOS 14 is a new way to organize your home screen throughout widgets. Apple redesigned everything you know about widgets, making them more beautiful and data rich. And in today's video, I will take you with me to learn everything you need to know about widgets. So, if you have recently downloaded iOS 14, then stay with me to redesign your home screen in a very beautiful and creative way. I haven't made many changes on my home screen because I want to show you how my screen looks like right after the update and this is uh, my screen just by uh, scrolling on the left here many new widgets have appeared but I will return to my home screen and redesign it because uh, this is where big changes on iOS 14 happened. So let's start by adding our first widget. To add a new widget, it's pretty easy. Just tap and hold on any empty area on your screen and then tap the plus icon. And from here, you can find all the available widgets and you can choose from the ones uh, you like. Uh, many people, when they start adding widgets, they add the weather widget, which is this one. And when you tap on it, you can choose from the three available size. I will choose this one and then add widget. And now you can see the new widget and you can tap on your widget and place it whenever you want on your home screen. Then tap done and your widget is placed on your home screen. Of course, you can edit your widget after you place it. Just tap and hold on your widget and from here tap edit. Each widget have different editing options uh, and here for the weather you can just edit the location of your widget. If you want to change uh, the side of your widget, you will need to delete it first and then re-add it on your home screen. To do so, uh, tap and hold again, remove widget, remove and then tap and hold on your home screen again, tap plus. Choose the widget you want and from here add the different size of your widget. For example this, add a widget and place it whenever you want. You can add more than one widget on your home screen. Uh, you can repeat the same process to add more widgets. And from here I will choose uh, the maps widget and I will choose this size to add it on my home screen you can place it again wherever you want i will place it here and click done and uh, with the same process you can add more widgets on different sizes and uh, different places of your home screen but what's really beautiful on your iOS 14 is that it gives you the ability to stack widgets at the same size on the top of each other this is what it's called smart stack and you can find it uh, just by tapping here and the plus icon scroll down and you will find this smart stack uh, choose the size you want for example this and add widget as Apple mentioned, SmartStack is a set of widgets you can swipe through that uses on device intelligence to surface the right widget at the right time based on factors like time, location, and activity. For example, you might see Apple News widget in the morning, calendar event during the day, and commute time from Apple Maps in the evening. Of course, and this on every widget, if I scroll through uh, the smart stack widgets and uh, I tap on the one I want, it will open the widget app. Now I will go back and show you how you can add a new widget on your smart stack. Just tap and hold this previously, tap plus and choose a new. Uh, for example maps and now choose uh, the size that is similar to your uh, already made smart stack 
to this at the wizard now tap and hold the new wizard and place it on your smash tag now tap down and as you can see uh, the new wizard is now on my smart stack and this is the easiest way you can create smart stack for example I will add two wizards uh, this one uh, here and I will add another one for example this add wizard uh, I will tap and hold the new wizard and I will place it on my previous wizard and now this way I create a new smart stack as you can see you can see the two dots for the two wizards I have added to the new smart stack click done and you can scroll through your new smart stack now if you want to see which apps provide a wizard they repeat the same process but now scroll down till the end and here you will find all the apps that provide wizards if you download a new app uh, the wizard of the app will appear here for example let's download a new app Now I've downloaded a new app that I know that provides a wizard, I will tap on it and set the app. Now as you can see I have downloaded a new app and that provides a wizard and to find this wizard I will repeat the same process that this new wizard is appeared down here. We we'll tap on it, repeat the same process and my new wizard is here. And lastly, I want to show you a wizard that I found that I really like. Uh, if you want to add a static photo as a wizard on your home screen, uh, the Bridge app is perfect for it. Uh, I like it because the photo gallery app appear random photos and I didn't get like it at all. So if you want to add just one photo as a uh, wizard on your home screen, this is perfect. Uh, how you can use the Bridge app? Up, uh, just tap on it, uh, you choose the photo you like and add a hashtag with your photo and uh, this is how you choose your photo. Then you tap on here, tap edit wizard and from here uh, you choose uh, the, the hashtag that you have set for the photo. Select it here, add new code and here is your wizard that's all for today's video hope you like it and you like this new feature of ios 14 be creative with your home screen and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i will see you on the next video bye